So this ministerial session was about sustainable mobility within social policy. Here was divided into three topics. I was asked to introduce the topic of sustainable financing for transport. Four key messages I will point to. First, the notion of doing more with less. We are in the middle of a global crisis. At the same time, the needs uh, to invest in road infrastructure that may help a country build cohesion and continue growing is of the essence. The access agenda for certain countries, for others the competitiveness agenda, remaining competitive, require greater in investments. The second message has to do with uh, broadening the sources of funding. In this context, we cannot rely only on public uh, sector budgets at a time where tax revenues are going down and there is a lot of pressure to finance other com competing needs. So here clearly an option of bringing private sector financing has worked for certain sectors, has worked in emerging economies with the whole session about PPPs for example showing what has happened in recent uh, time particularly in uh, some of the developing countries that have been very successful in, in investing through PPPs and also in uh, Europe. So thinking differently road user charges, most economies are relying on levies on gasoline, gasoline taxes for example, but thanks to the efficiency gains in fleets, now this revenue is forecast to go down with the f in the future, so we may need to think in terms of other sources of, of funding for the road investments, distant charges, other ways of doing this. So these are basically two or three, tolling would remain a solution, but key to maintain the affordability of uh, road infrastructure, particularly at time of crisis. The third key message was about efficiency, the efficiency gap. With tighter budgets, more scrutiny on how about the quality of the spending, and here there is a lot can, can be gained by improving, for example, planning, prioritizing better the investments, securing sources of funding for maintenance and not neglecting maintenance is a way of uh, saving money in the future. Spending the money is allocated in a budget, for example, through proper procedures, and improving service delivery, for example, outsourcing policies. So the whole purpose is to get better mileage from the money already, the funds already allocated to the sector. And the final message was about smarter institutions. Today we know that we are confronting challenges that force us to think more integrated way. For example, transportation systems have to, to be integrated. We talk about seamless transport and that requires institutions that can coordinate efforts with other institutions within the transport sector and also with, with uh, beyond the transport sector. Climate change is requiring that so we look at making our road infrastructure resilient climate proof and this will imply perhaps m greater investments, different way of planning. So the f that was the reason for this fourth message that we have to be able to coordinate efforts to be part of uh, integrated plans and in how we address these needs.